Hello everyone, my name is Lepsemi Santillana, a second year student studied at the University of Southeastern Philippines taking up the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. Today, I'm going to discuss with you about the genetically modified food, specifically the genetically modified sugar cane. But before that, let us know first what does genetically modified organism or genetically modified food is all about. Modified organism can be applied to an animal or plant whose genetic material has been altered using genetic engineering techniques. It has been used to develop and enhance the quality of the product. Subok na ito, lalo na sa mga may malaking kumpanya na nagsusupply ng mga agricultural products sa ibang panig ng mundo. Gamit ang genetic engineering, mas nai-enhance nito ang kwalidad at ang nutrisyon na nasa produkto. At dahil nga sa magandang ano nito, malaki rin ang naibabalik tikita sa mga magsasakaw. One of the genetically engineered product is the sugar cane. Sugar cane is grown in subtropical and tropical countries worldwide and it counts for more than 70% of global sugar production. The most important sugar cane producing countries are Brazil, India, China, and Thailand. And 40% of world sugar cane comes from Brazil. Genetically modified sugar cane began at Brazil. BT sugar cane from the company of Centro de Tecnologia Canavera was approved for cultivation in Brazil in 2017. On the other hand, genetically modified sugar cane is not authorized in the Europe. Therefore, food and food consisting of or produced from genetically modified sugar cane cannot be marketed in the Europe. Brazil is a second country after Indonesia approved genetically modified sugar cane for commercial cultivation. There are four different events of genetically modified sugar cane. Three of these are different dry resistant sugar cane that were approved for cultivation in Indonesia. The NXI1T, NXI40, and the NXI60. And the other one, the genetically modified sugar cane that is anti-system and was approved by Brazil for food and feed and cultivation and for the Canada for food is the CTB1 for 1175018. A variety of genetically modified sugar cane. What are the advantages of using genetically modified sugar cane? First, it will increase food supply and the quality and the quantity of the food. Second, it helps under feed nation and fewer pesticides will be used. And of course, additional vitamins and minerals we can get from the genetically modified sugar cane. For the disadvantage of using genetically modified sugar cane, it is still an unknown long-term effect. Since there is no confirmed cases that can possibly say that eating or using a genetically modified sugar cane can cause a side effect to a person or to an animal. And others say that it can possibly weaken the immune system. This issue is still an argument for me. Okay, thank you so much for lending your time to watch my video and I hope that you've learned something.